Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to use your hard drive or memory stick as virtual RAM on your PC, also known as virtual memory. And I'll show you how to do this in Windows 7, which is what I'm using right now. I'll also show you in Windows Vista, Windows XP, and Windows 98. Uh, it's actually pretty much the same for all, all four systems, but I'm going to show you quickly how to do it in all of them anyways. Uh, by the way, sorry about the noise in the background. There is construction work going on outside. Nothing I can do about that. Alright, so first I'm going to show you how to set this up with your memory card. You want to go to your computer. Choose your memory card. Right click. Properties. Click Ready Boost. And here it is. Um, at the moment it's set to not use that device. If you click on dedicate this de device to ReadyBoost, it will use the entire uh, entire card and it'll actually format everything on your card. So make sure you make a backup if you have any sensitive material. And then if you want to use just the remaining space on the card and keep, keep some stuff on your card, click on use this device. Now as you can see I have 416 megabytes of free space on my uh, on my card and Windows will not allow you uh, does not want you to use all the space it wants a little bit of overhead space left so for example I've got 416 it's gonna suggest I use 375 megabytes of RAM leaving a little bit of overhead space um, I've heard that between as long as you have between 30 and 50 megabytes that you should be fine but I just use whatever Windows suggests so just click there and then click apply and you're set. You'll have 375 megabytes of RAM or you know depending on what size memory card you have. Okay next I'll show you how to do this in your hard drive. Go to computer, right click, properties, go to advanced system settings, go to the advanced tab, performance settings, Click on the Advanced tab, Virtual Memory, Change, and then click the hard drive that you want to use as your virtual memory. I'm using a backup hard drive at the moment, and I've got it set to, uh, to 9 gigabytes of virtual memory, which is 9,000 megabytes. Well, let's change this to say 1,000, because I don't really need a whole extra 9 gigs of RAM. So you just put in your number. Oh, by default, by the way, this will be checked. So you, uh, none of these settings will be done. So uncheck this first, sorry, and then go to custom size and set how much RAM you want to, how much RAM you want to use. And just remember to you to save about, you know, between 30 and 30 and 50 megabytes of uh, space, of overhead space. So once you set your numbers, click set click OK and it's going to tell you that you need to restart your computer for this to work. OK. Apply. Do I want to restart now? Well no, not really. I'm making a video. So as you can see for physical memory I actually have 4 gigabytes and then I also have one more gigabyte of virtual memory running which uh, virtual memory is not going to be listed in this window. It will only tell you your uh, physical memory. But I will show you my virtual memory here. So as you can see, my computer is using up almost 4 gigabytes of RAM right now. It just jumped over 4. Um, so hypothetically speaking, if I, you know, if I didn't have that virtual RAM running right about now, my computer would be pretty much crashing or running extremely slow. But luckily I have an extra gig of uh, virtual RAM running. Now, uh, for those of you who are looking at uh, where it says total virtual memory, it tells me I have almost 17 gigabytes. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not really running that much virtual RAM right now. Um, that has to do with this program Nexus I'm using. Uh, for some reason, it I have changed my RAM a few times while making this video, and now it's all confused about how much virtual memory I actually have. But it still tells you the proper amount of physical memory, which is 4 gigs, and I'm going over 4 gigs, and my computer is still running. So obviously this is working. 
Okay, next I'll show you how to do this in the other systems. And I'm going to start with the uh, newest systems and work back to the oldest systems. So we're going to go back to Vista. And Vista is pretty much the, it's, it's the exact same. Just right click on my computer, properties, advanced system settings, continue. Advanced tab, performance settings. Advanced tab, virtual memory change. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, by default, this is checked and it's not using any virtual memory. So just uncheck that, choose your drive, set up your custom size. Very easy. Okay, now I'll show you an XP, and again, pretty much the exact same. Right click my computer, properties, advanced tab, performance settings, advanced, change virtual memory. And here on Windows XP, it actually doesn't have that little button up there that you have to uncheck. Okay, on Windows 98, now Windows 98 is a little bit different. Uh, my computer is on the desktop, properties, you go to performance tab, virtual memory is down here, and yeah, there are less options to choose from in Windows 98, obviously, because it is an older system. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. Uh, please rate and comment, and I hope you found this very useful. Have a great day, YouTube.